is up my kings and queens it's your man cash is king today i'm going to be showing you how to fix your aa trailer dead slots all right so now as you can see i'm in my bunker and i do have an aa trailer that is stored here but your man cash long ago made the mistake of receiving an aa trailer without first owning one so through time that I've transferred my AA trailers in and out of my bunker, I've been only utilizing personal vehicle slots. I did push a locked AA trailer dead slot out of my bunker. And so in one of my garages stored, I do have a dead slot from my AA trailer. It is my actual physical AA trailer slot that belongs inside of the bunker with the AA trailer on top of it. But because I did not own one before receiving one, that slot was locked. And so when I received the AA trailer from my friend, and after closing app and coming back online, the AA trailer that was in the back of my MOC was automatically sucked into my bunker, forcing out that locked AA trailer slot. Now I am suffering from an AA trailer dead slot even though I have an AA trailer in my bunker. All right, now this is the kind of thing, dead slots that are quite confusing for most people. So hopefully this video will help to open your eyes to what is actually going on here. All right, now as you can see, I've made my way on down to Shambles Drive. I have a 10 car garage here. And inside I have four empty locked dead slots. Alright, now when I attempt to buy to these empty slots, any type of vehicle, I get the not sold prompt and the purchase has been failed. Alright, and this dead slot I know is attributed to my AA trailer because as I had said, I had received one without owning one. Alright, now a lot of you guys I'm sure have experienced your dead slots and attempting to purchase over one and you see this empty location and you're probably wondering what the hell is going on. So I'm sure the first thing you're going to do is take a street car in off of the street into your garage and when you attempt to park it over one of your empty slots, it will select that slot but notice that the vehicle does disappear and that it does not store it in this location. You cannot get rid of that empty dead slot. All right. All right, so now the first thing that I'm going to be doing is telling you, don't feel ashamed about your mistakes in the past. It's not something to cry over. And with all the false information from fake YouTubers online, I'm sure most of you will find yourself in this position. But don't worry, because your man Cash is here with the knowledge to teach you how you can remedy this mistake. All right, so the first thing that I did was went ahead outside and stole me a streetcar and I also made sure that in this garage I have a vehicle that I can get rid of. So I've decided to overwrite this X80 Proto with the streetcar and now I'm just going to take this streetcar out and destroy it. And this streetcar will not have insurance on it. I have not went to purchase the full coverage on this vehicle and so when I pull out a grenade and I blow this vehicle up it will not be placed in insurance, but I will have cleared a vehicle slot. And the vehicle identity att attributed to that slot will no longer be with it. All right, and so now I have one open usable slot that I can manipulate and force any vehicle that I would like to store. If I'd like to purchase a vehicle, then I can. All right, and so now that you have your open and clear slot, you can feel free to go ahead and take yourself down and get glitched out. We are going to be using the give cars to friends method in order for us to remedy this mistake that we have made and fix our problem. Now I just decided to use the scuba tank method with the MOC and I'm also going to be bouncing out of my special vehicles warehouse. All right, so as you can see, I've dropped some tanks across the blue dot and I'm using this go-kart that is stored in the back of my MOC currently. All right, and so after I drove up and hit right D-pad and watched the tanks disappear, I was removed from the vehicle and went ahead and hit right D-pad to take it inside. 
you can feel free to exit your MOC and request out one of your special vehicles from the special vehicle warehouse. And I like to use my ramp buggy to get glitched out just because it's a nice quick way to cut through traffic. All them cars that like to pull inside of your way, you can quickly bounce them off. But my special vehicle warehouse is just around the corner. So I'll drive on in and hit the door and get a black screen. And after about 15 seconds, bounce off a friend in a different targeting mode. You should be then force spawned up at Give Cars to Friends location. And you'll be glitched out and ready to receive vehicles. And you can push and give yourself your own vehicles. Alright, because we are using Give Cars to Friends, I will also need a friend to help me to get glitched out and run through the slot manipulation that I am about to do. And if you have two consoles, feel free to have your second console come and help you out. Alright, and now I'm set up at Give Cars to Friends with my MOC. And my friend here has also stole a street vehicle that I will be taking. Alright, now it doesn't really matter what type of street vehicle it is. We are going to be using a street vehicle, however, because we will want to sell this vehicle and we don't want to sell any modded cars. Alright, so if you're on a daily sell limit, you'll have to make sure that you ha at least have one vehicle sell for the day. And also, I should mention that it's a good idea to pass your AA trailer off to your friend for him to hold on to for safekeeping. So you will need to get rid of all of the AA trailers that are on your account whether they're in your bunker or they're stored in personal vehicle slots in garages. Alright, so I've went ahead and just passed my AA trailer onto my character too, and I'm going to have him store it in the back of his MOC. And I'm not really worried about pushing that into my bunker on my second character, so I'm just going to be using a personal vehicle slot. Alright, so now I've pushed this Faggio into the back of my MOC, and it is a unique motorcycle for me and my account. I do not have any other Faggios. And so you can feel free to have your friend to get on and hold pause to prevent you from entering the MOC, and we're going to go through with the AA trailer give cars to friends method. So I'll get glitched out, and once my slot's in limbo, I'm going to be clearing the map. I will return my personal vehicle to stores that I got glitched out with, successfully returning it to the back of the MOC, and I will also return my mobile operations center to the bunker so that I can request out my AA trailer. Alright, and so once you request your AA trailer out onto the map, it should only take a few seconds for it to appear. You can go ahead and verify if you would like to, but once it is here, that slot should be now tied to my character. So I will have the personal vehicle slot that my AA trailer is on, attributed to my character and ready to overwrite. So I'm just going to go ahead and return that AA trailer back to storage and again request out my MOC. It's important that you make sure that your friend is not looking up the street and neither are you so that your MOC does appear right next to you and you won't have to waste any time heading up to the arcade to pull it. Alright, so at this point I do not want any more personal vehicles on the map. I have already placed my slots in limbo and attributed the AA trailer to my character. So I'm just going to have my console 2 come stand at the back of the MOC so that I can get the alert to enter alone or enter with friends. Don't forget your Franklin alert if you're not prepared to bounce off a friend in a different targeting mode. But once you do, you can feel free to enter alone, pull up your Franklin alert one more time, and you'll come out invisible on the map. Now I'm just going to be taking that streetcar I had mentioned. And even though I have that AA trailer and the personal vehicle slot that it was on attributed to my character, I will now lose that AA trailer and force this vehicle onto its slot. Alright, at the same time that I did that, I did push the Faggio into the bunker into the location that the AA trailer is stored. But because I know that I have a dead slot already attributed to my AA trailer, I'm just manipulating personal vehicle slots right now, attempting to do some cleanup. So I've took this Granger, and it's in the back of my MOC. Now I'm just gonna head on down to Los Santos Customs with this street vehicle, and we need to sell this vehicle. We're going to clear that slot just like we did with the street vehicle inside of our garage, except for this one, we don't want to blow up and destroy. The offhand chance that it is on a special vehicle slot, it will automatically force it back to the location and it will not be able to be claimed through insurance. Special vehicles don't require insurance. So, 
After you sell that vehicle from the back of your MOC, it will be empty, but you can feel free to go ahead and go into your motorcycle club and request that Faggio out. The one that we had in our MOC to begin with, that we pushed into our bunker into the AA trailer's location. Alright, and once you have that Faggio back out on the map, you can feel free to run to the Give Cars to Friends glitch again, and we're just going to give this vehicle to ourselves. Now remember, in the back of my MOC it's empty currently. I do not have a vehicle stored there, and so I will not get a full alert when I hit right D-pad, but that is totally fine. Alright, we're placing this personal vehicle slot in limbo, and we will also be extracting it from the bunker and forcing it into the MOC by giving it to ourselves. So, nothing new here. We can have our friend stand at the back of the MOC while we get our Franklin alert. And once you're prepped up and ready to go, you can feel free to enter alone. After a few moments, you should come back out invisible and you can feel free to get on top of your Fagio and it should automatically teleport you into your MOC with this vehicle. And so now I know that that clear open spot that I had in the back of my MOC will now be in my bunker. No more vehicle in my bunker, no more personal vehicle in my bunker. I've allowed the slot to be open and accessible and that dead slot that I had inside of my garage should now be free and clear to move back to where it belongs on its own. So I've went ahead and just went into Warstock Cash and Carry. You can hover down and find your AA trailer and now if all things are successful you should be able to purchase this vehicle back to its location officially unlocking that AA trailer slot that you had as a dead slot and it will be inside of its bunker with the vehicle identity attributed to that slot that belongs on it with the AA trailer and stored back in its location safely. Alright, now remember, I did have one open lock slot that I had destroyed inside of my regular 10 car garage. So when I go to attempt to buy Sanchez's, I know that I will at least be able to buy one. Alright, and as you can see it was sold, I've got that one clear open slot back. And so now, I can attempt to buy another one to see if I remedied my AA trailer dead slot. And as you can see, it is sold. So now, instead of having the four empty dead slots that I had in that location to begin with, I can go ahead and attempt to buy another vehicle and show that I do now only have three empty slots. Alright, my MOC has the Faggio stored, and I just bought a brand new stock AA trailer to my bunker. Alright, so I just had my friend go ahead and call that AA trailer out from the back of his MOC. My AA trailer that I would like to receive back from him. And this is part of my full set, and so it's a pretty important piece to finish off the collection. And once your friend does have that AA trailer out on the map, we can go ahead and utilize the Give Cars to Friends glitch to correctly receive and store modded AA trailers. We have now successfully purchased the AA trailer that we needed to to its slot. And so, when I run through the gift cards to friends kids for the AA trailer with the Faggio from the back of my MOC, I'm just going to go ahead and go through the process correctly. I'll get glitched out and return that Faggio to storage. That'll effectively place that personal vehicle slot in limbo, and I can now tie any slot to my character that I would like. So you'll return your MOC to storage and then request out your anti-aircraft trailer. And as you can see, I do have the brand new stock version here with me. It is the actual AA trailer and because I was able to purchase it, I know that it is on top of the AA trailer slot that it belongs to. Alright, so now that vehicle is attributed to my character and I do have that slot tied with me. Whatever vehicle I receive next will overwrite the vehicle attributed to that slot and so I want to make sure that I am actually receiving an AA trailer at this point. So again you'll have your friend stand at the back of your MOC while you get your Franklin alert. You can feel free to enter alone. You'll come out invisible on the map and you should be able to take the AA trailer back from your friend and this will allow you to correctly put it back onto the AA trailer slot while extracting that slot from the bunker and marrying these two components together in the back of my MOC. 
Now as you know, when you receive AA trailers, you'll fall through the map and for spawn at the default location here at Give Cars to Friends. Now you can sit on top of the AA trailer and wait for it to despawn if you would like to, but I like to get off and remain invisible for a few seconds while we can. And I'm still attributed to my bunker at this moment, so it thinks I'm inside of my MOC. But after a few moments you should appear and the AA trailer will despawn. You will get a prompt on the top left hand side of the screen that says that your AA trailer has been returned to storage into the bunk. Alright, now this is perfect. So, you should be able to go right back into your motorcycle club and request that Faggio that we've used the whole time. This is right back into my bunker as the push vehicle. It's holding that AA trailer location full at this point. And I'm also going to be using this vehicle to get the full alert at the back of my MOC. And I'm just going to give this vehicle to myself, effectively swapping the vehicle slots. Alright, so this is a personal vehicle on a personal vehicle slot. I will receive it and I will force the AA trailer and the AA trailer slot that it has been remarried to back into the bunker where it belongs. Alright, and so again, don't forget your Franklin alert if you're not prepared to bounce off a friend in a different targeting mode. You can go ahead and enter alone. You'll come back out invisible and feel free to run along and get on top of your Fagio. Alright, and the moment that you do get onto your Fagio, you should be teleported right into the back of the MOC with this vehicle at the same time as you push the AA trailer out of the MOC and back into the bunker. Alright, now this is perfect. And this is full rotation. The circle has been completed. And once you come back outside of your MOC, you can feel free to return your MOC to storage and re-request out your AA trailer from your interaction menu. This should be the modded version that is with you. Alright, and you should have successfully fixed the dead slot that was in your garage because it was attributed to the AA trailer that you had received without first owning one. Now me, I'm going to go ahead real quick and request out my ramp buggy just to run on down to my garage so that I can show that I did actually successfully get my slots back and that you'll be able to compare the new footage of my garage to the original footage and see that I have successfully retained a new personal vehicle to that slot. All right. Alright, so now that I'm here at my garage, you can see that I do have two brand new Sanchez's here. One that cleared the slot that I destroyed from the X80 Proto, and one more to add to my count as I have remedied my dead slot. Now I do still have three dead slots in this location, but those will be for the next video. Alright, so I've went ahead and drove this tailgater out, and I'm just going to head on back to my bunker so that I can show that I do have the AA trailer successfully stored back in its location and that it will appear there and not be invisible. All right. Now once you do enter your bunker, you'll just want to make your way on back to where your MOC and your AA trailer is stored. And you should be able to verify that it is back in its location, visible for you to see and feel comfortable knowing that it was remarried back to its original slot. Alright, and so I hope that this method will help you guys out and that you'll be able to fix your dead slots. As always, be safe and have a great day everybody. Peace.